Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create very easy modular terrain to use in your game. This is very easy and very quick and not much skill is needed at all. So if you're a be beginner that's great. So first off you got your cube. We're not doing this from a cube. So you can press X and then delete and then press shift and A to add in a plane. Once you have a plane you want to set the scale of the plane because that's very important for a game. Depending on what size your character in game is, you want to change the um, scale right here. So if you press N, you will get this menu on the right side. And then you can change the scale here. So I'm going to set mine to 10 times 10 times 10, which I think is pretty big actually. This is kind of the medium size. If you want like a big mountain or something, you should probably go for higher. This is like a hill or something. So the way we're going to create a mountain or a hill or whatever is using sculpting and in Blender 2.8 you can just go up here, click sculpting and you'll be in sculpting mode and everything is set up for you. We'll use the draw uh, brush here so it's already selected but if you try and sculpt something on it you can see that nothing happens. That's because whenever you sculpt the brush alters or uh, changes the vertices and there's only four vertices here. So if you try to change it up on the sides, you can see that it changes because there's vert vertices there. So we need to add vertices. A great way to do that is just adding a subdivision surface modifier. But if you do, you'll see a problem. It's not square anymore. The way to fix that is just go here and change from Catmull Clark to simple. And now it's square. And if uh, you press Z and while holding it down, just go to wireframe. You can see kind of how many um, edges, faces and so on you got. So if you change the view viewport here from 1 to something higher, you can see that the, um, the modifier adds uh, much more faces. Now this is all up to you. If you want to go low poly, I suggest something like 4. If you want to go a bit higher, you can go to something like 5 or 6, but I don't think you'll need more than that. So you can change back to solid with Z and if you apply the modifier right here and go into sculpting again up here and now try sculpting you can see that this works very well. But right now it will mirror everything to on the x-axis. A way to disable that is just uh, go up here to sculpt and change symmetry x to well don't change it just deactivate it so nothing is selected and now if you try sculpting you can see that it has a gray, great effect. So I'll go with some kind of a weird hill. Something like this is cool. Keep in mind this is not how it's going to look. So just go back to layout once you're done sculpting. And this is pretty much how it will look. A few tips that you can uh, do is you can add a triangulate modifier if you want this kind of look. With the triangles and then just apply it. Or you can even go... Uh, to decimate and then change the ratio to something lower to get a very very low poly look. If you're not trying to go for a low poly look you can maybe add another subdivision surface modifier to keep that a bit higher poly and also for example if you do that you can go and while in object mode just press W and shade smooth and this will make it look much, um, reali much more realistic I guess not really but you know what I'm trying to say if you don't want that, just go with Shade Flat. That's it for today. I just want to show you a cool way of creating terrain in Blender. And hopefully it helps you. If it did, be sure to share it. Leave a like, comment down below if you have any ideas. And subscribe, of course. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.